Well, I'm saying, you ever well, known anybody who knows everything? Hold on a second. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. You First of all, this is our football night. So we're going to watch uh, Indianapolis mm-hmm. Colts and the, and the Ravens. But, but let's leave Mr. Know-it-all out of it, you know. I, but you no. need Mr. Know-it-all. <laughs> okay, hold so on. That's on the way I can make it. Okay, well, hold on a second. No now, one is- now what, what was your, what, what, what did you say about the coach of, of the Colts? What, 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 what were you saying? You said that he got kicked out one time and he wasn't co-op. What he he didn't set a good example. What what was it? He was he was put out by the official because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he had been warned so many times <laughs> about the area where he was supposed okay. not to be in. He was pacing up and down. Not pacing up and down, but crossing the line. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was the line that where he said, "But foot players <laughs> it was, and coaches and folks say." <laughs> He kept going over that line. Uh-huh. And when the official was trying to go down the floor, trying to keep up with the players, he was in the way. Oh. So they had to stop and say to him something. I don't know what it was. But the third time he said it, mm-hmm. the other coach came over there and said something to the, the other, other coach. The, the other fish, the other, oh, one of the, uh, one of the coaches on the, uh, one of the coaches on the Colts team. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, uh-huh. uh-huh. Next thing I saw him walking out out the place, <laughs> and he was just quiet. Mm. People were wondering, so, "Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. He's gonna be mm. fine. Is he coming back? Mm. They sending them out to get himself together or what?" I didn't see him anymore. Yeah, but there's no way for a head coach to act. He's supposed to be no, the, ult- the ultimate, ultimate example. No, that's the that's my whole idea. In fact, there's a there's a coach right now. Uh, um, that is having a little little problem. This, this uh, uh, coach that came up from Collins, Urban Myers, he, he got he got busted partying, <laughs> and not mm-hmm. hanging with his team. But you know, uh, so we're gonna watch the football game tonight. But however, and we, uh, like I said, we're not gonna mention Mister No All Name because he said something after that, and we want to leave him out of it. He remains silent. Okay. But in fact, let me ask you this before I ask you this other question. You you you're a sports fan. You fact you what did you, you did gymnastics when you were younger? No, uh, what, no. Did you do gymnastics or just cheerleader? What did you do? I was a stunt majorette. A stunt majorette. Mm-hmm. What does a stunt majorette mean? Well, mate does everything except baton. You did the twin twinning. Uh, the big uh, the big staff. Baton, the, the, no, the, I didn't. The, I, the, that, oh, you I used didn't tw- do, twirling the baton. Uh, I didn't do the didn't. twirling. I did all the other things that the the, to, what, uh, the what, major what were the other things? Doing. What were the other things? High stepping. What were you doing? What, what did they? We do? would be going down the street doing some little routines, and we would have certain certain uh, gymnastic activities to do Dance while we, while the band is still playing, uh-huh. carrying the major rest of jumping and carrying uh-huh. on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But so you you know about but but I, we talked this, about this before. You were very uh, more. I don't want to. Well, I have to say this. You're more like say. You was more hanging with the boys. I was a black like a tomboy. Oh, I didn't want to say that. You say I don't want to call That's nobody. That's what no I was. <laughs> no, now, but but you watch football. You you follow football a lot. What's your favorite team now? Dallas. Uh, I knew he was going to say that. There's no way. Right. I I have I can't say anything against Dallas. They they're good this year. They're good this year. Yeah. You know? Well, when did you start following football, professional football? Because you said you followed for a while, and they had made an adjustment that you don't long know. time. Back there when Don Shula and those those guys were in there working down in Miami and all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Back there when the 49ers mm-hmm. were in boom, because there was a girl in our little. We had a little club called the Happy Warriors. The Happy Warriors. Uh huh. Warriors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And one of the girls in there. Has, was a relative to mm-hmm. the football player of the 49ers. Oh, okay. So automatically we became 49er fans. Oh, because of her. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, did you did did you um uh, okay, that's that's what that's that's under Joe Montana and all that stuff, right? That's that Joe Montana days and all that? It was before Joe. Before Joe. For oh. Joe, bro. Oh, okay. okay. That was before the microphone got on the sideline with the coaches. Oh, yeah, what happened with that? That's when they started. I, that's when I eliminated a lot of teams because they were cursing. Oh, you heard the you heard the the, the microphones were picking up the the coaches and everybody else mm-hmm. cursing. And that, you know how they have time out. Yeah, 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 yeah. One coach, Washington Redskins, mm. 
the play guy, guy did something that was, I guess he was considered stupid or something. Mm. He said, what in the something were you thinking about when you knew what the play was and you had the nerve to do what you wanted to do with your little something sitting under profanity? Mm. I said, to Walter looked at me. I didn't say a word. I just got the remote control and turned. Mm. Went to another channel. Mm -hmm. Green Bay. Green Bay's coach was cursing too. Oh, boy. <laughs> I said, Walter said, looked at me. He didn't say anything. I just clicked some more. Mm -hmm. And I got to Don Shula. Now, Don said to the players, men... The plays that you, we just executed were according to our plan. Mm -hmm. But it, it, I was pleased to know that you trusted each other enough to not carry out the next plan that we had in mind. And I appreciate you. You just don't know how much I appreciate you and respect you. Mm -hmm. I said, Walter said, what mm -hmm. you going to do? I said, I'm keeping him. So you went to the next place. Miami, okay. Then they went to somebody else, and then they got to Miami. The, not, the Dolphins, yeah. yeah. The Dolphins, that was Don Shula. Then, then, but then I went to, uh, like to me, it was, my next team was, uh, was the, hmm. I forgot what the next team was, but every team that was, the coach was doing some cursing on that one. So Walter said, well, I guess you don't have a one team. <laughs> I said, but there's some more. Mm -hmm. But then I hadn't gotten to my coach yet, to, to the ball, to, to my uh, Cowboys. Yeah. So, uh, 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 was it Tom Landry was with them then? Okay. He was a, uh, he was a well versed person or either it could be could be his temperament i don't know mm -hmm. but he did say to them he said before i say anything that you may think i'm going to say mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i just want to commend you on your everything they did and everything he just he really complimented them mm -hmm. he said and anything that you did and you would not want to do it again, we'll look at that. No, you can look at that, and I'll look at it with you. Mm -hmm. Anything that you wish you could have done, but did not do because we did not ha had not practiced that, or you, you had not shared that information with anyone, to either teammates. Mm -hmm. He said, I want you to always remember when you are on that field, practicing or executing the game, you're a family mm, with each mm, other. Mm, 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 and I just happened to be mm -hmm. the person they call the coach mm -hmm. over the family. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of you. Walter said, what you going to do, though? I said, that man, I keep, I stay with that team. <laughs> he said, I ain't never seen anybody eliminate a person, a whole team, because of profanity. I said, I don't want them cursing at them. Like that, and they looked so looked so hurt to me. Mm. I guess because I was hurt to hearing them, and they knew the thing the microphone was on down there. Mm, yes, when they first started, and at the end they wanted to have an interview with the coaches. Mm -hmm. They had nothing to say. I'm I'm short on words, and that were the Washington Redskin <laughs> guys said. I'm short on on interviews right now, just like. He had done something before. <laughs> I said, I said, you, me and my football team. But Lou Walter told me, he said, Mom, I don't even know why you you choose a team. I said, because I, I like the team. He said, but when you choose a team and it's not one of your favorite team, you cheer for the other team. I said, somebody need to cheer for these people. <laughs> Stop, said, hold on. Wait, back up. Are you telling me that even if your face, say the, the Cowboys were on the field, 
and the other team was bad. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna say the Giants because those, that's my team. But l- let me leave them alone. Let's let's say Washington is on on on, on the field okay. against against the uh, thing. You're telling me you would abandon the Cowboys and vote and um and and uh and support and cheer, and, and cheer for Washington because they're so bad and you know your your team is going to beat up on them or what? What do you say? No, I'll be doing it because that's not my favorite team. But my favorite team would be still out there playing. Oh, oh I, I, there's no, there's no, you, if you was watching, I understand. So if you was watching a regular game and your your teams weren't involved, you just picked the team that, that, that was the worst? What are you saying? You see this piece of paper right here? Mm-hmm. I turn it in, in four pieces. Mm-hmm. And I put first quarter, mm-hmm. second quarter. Mm-hmm. On the other pieces, I'll put the third uh-huh. and the fourth. Uh-huh. And I'll take those two pieces of paper and fold them up. Mm-hmm. Put them in something, and I will just close my eyes and reach in there and pick up one. Whatever I pick up the first time, I don't care which team it is, one of the four, one of the two, I'll root for that team for the first quarter. Uh-huh. But I'll tell on. <laughs> But Lil Walter said, but mama, you tell on your team if they're doing something wrong. I said, if they're wrong, they're wrong. He said, and I you never see anybody. You cheer for a team and you then you lay them out when they do something wrong. I said, if they're wrong, they're wrong. Well, people are doing that now. Everybody yells at the TV and you know, you know, you you, you got a new TV, but but, but properly, but you know, some people break their TVs and they gotta get a new TV. You know, like we be watching on a big TV tonight. But I, I, I forget that. I want, I want. I have another. I have another. You had told me about another story. Tell me about that kind of. You was at the airport, and you saw the brown bomber. Tell me. Tell, tell me about that. Come on. Tell me. Tell me that, that was such a great. Joe story. Lewis. Yeah. Tell me what, what happened. What happened? You you online whatever, and you saw him in a. I was waiting in line to go to get on the airplane. But Joe Lewis and his wife mm. were about two people ahead of us where mm. I was standing. Mm. And uh, I recognized him. I said, so how are you? He said, oh, I'm so well. I said, you're Joe Lewis, aren't you? He said, yes. And this is my wife. And he introduced her to me. And, mm-hmm. and she put her arm around me and hugged me and mm-hmm. said, it's so nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. I said, well, thank you. While I got back in line, somebody else touched me on my shoulder. And I looked down and I saw this tall person. I said, well, who is this person? It was Dr. J. Mm. Dr. J said to me, Eurethia, is that not Joe Lewis? Well, wait, there? wait, wait, back back up. Hold on. You just dropped something. You just said something. Okay. He knew your name. Mm-hmm. Well, well, how did Doctor J? He's a he's a basketball player. You are you are you're a teacher. That's how when did they he were know? playing with the squad? You know when the Squires were playing in North. Oh, they started out in the North. Virginia Squires. The, the, the and we made every game they could possibly have. Mm-hmm. Plus, he served as a surrogate daddy for the men and women who are deployed in the military, mm-hmm. including uh, enrolling them in school. Mm-hmm. Or when they had special uh, programs and the children were in something, mm-hmm. and the daddies or the uncles or the grandpapas mm-hmm. were there, mm-hmm. he would go in and sit in their place. Mm-hmm. To, so the children, all children, will have a daddy or uncle or granddad mm-hmm. representing them. Wow! And that's how he got so familiar with that school. Well, Dr. J was when you know back in the day, you know, Dr. J was it. You know, I was a fan. I, I didn't read his autobiography or anything like that. But this this sounds like a story that I guess he must have wrote, wrote it down someplace. Somebody must have reported on that. That's amazing. So he knew you from the community. From what well, you was a you obviously you were you were a fanatic because you went <laughs> to every game that the Squires had at normal. Everything they played. Every time that that gym, the place of order, oh, Walter and I would be there waiting, waiting to see him play. Mm-hmm. Dr. J. Dr. J was also in one of my classes I was taking. I was taking a class in uh, speech and something. And 
there were about three of us who were not ba player basketball players. Mm -hmm. The rest of them were on from the t basketball team. Mm -hmm. A requirement uh -huh. from the coach that they take this class Ooh. because many of them were not responding to interviews after the game or before games because mm -hmm. they didn't feel comfortable. Right. So he was wanting mm -hmm. them to become get some expertise and mm -hmm. practice. Mm -hmm. And G Dr. J was one of the persons in the class. And mm. Dr. J could have taught the class. Mm. But the teacher that we had decided that most interviews that you see on television now is a result as at, at the end of the game, when the game is over and they these reporters are trying to get the, some brownie points mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. That's after the game, when mm -hmm. they were exhausted. Mm -hmm. So he had the entire team to go from the third floor where our class was, mm -hmm. down the steps to the first floor to where the office is mm -hmm. in the building, mm -hmm. and turn around and come back up there and sit down. And as soon as you sat down, he called you. All right, brother, it looks like here you first come up here. How do you feel? And you said, <clears throat> thank you for this interview, first you'll say. I like to mm -hmm. get, be good, have some manners, you know. Mm -hmm. So he said, if you have good manners, mm -hmm. said, puts the folks who are interviewing you in a precarious position. Because they said, this person is not going to be the run of the mill person. Oh. So you thank them mm -hmm. for that opportunity then he'll say then the, the teacher we, that I had then said um, did you did you realize when you uh, had that ball and that you fumbled before you, you no know, you went down on your knees before you put the ball into the uh, end zone so the guy looked up at the teacher and said, I knew it. And the teacher said, and other folk who were looking at the game saw it too, but said, I want to commend you on the way you did not retaliate or explain it to the reporter. The way she asked the question, there was only one answer, either yes or mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. No in between. Mm -hmm. And that was the part of that training that they were getting mm -hmm. is to hear mm -hmm. the ant ask the question and to see if you're answering the question according to the way it was asked. Okay. So so in other words, you had a lot of football players in, in the in this class. Mm -hmm. uh, but now Dr. J is a basketball player. So tell well tell me what happened with tell me about the incident. So 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 Dr. J taps you on the shoulder and he says, uh Dorethea, what does he say? He said, uh, is that the brown bomber up there? Mm. I turned around and looked like I was listening. I said, it is. <laughs> and his wife. He said, oh, no. Oh, I want to touch his hand. I said, you want to touch your hand? I said, follow me. I'll let you. I'll introduce you. He said, you know him. I said, I just met him. <laughs> and you're going to introduce him to me? Mm -hmm. I said, yes. Well, Julius Irvin looked to me. He humbled himself like he was down to a baby size. Mm -hmm. Sir, with all the honors and something and something that could be due anyone, I just wish I had some of it to say to you how I feel, having been able to get near the brown bomber. Mm -hmm. I said, and that, uh, Joe Lewis was said, well, uh, it's my pleasure, too. Uh -huh. And you are who? And he said, Ju Julius Irvin. He said, got another name. Don't you have another name? He said, they call me Dr. J. He said, now, that's the pleasure to think the brown bomber is meeting Dr. J, meeting the doctor. I said, Se when a person is secure, they can... They can just say how they feel sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, he said, sir, could I have your autograph? He said, 
Yes, and I'd like to have yours too. Wow. So Amen. they exchanged autographs. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Joe Lewis was standing there grinning like she was so proud, like nobody asked her to anything. <laughs> and when before Julius back got back into line, he thanked her, him and her too, mm -hmm. for such a gracious lady. Mm -hmm. And uh he she he went on back and got in line. And his buddies were saying, man, why are you bringing him back in with us? <laughs> so all of us could have met him. <laughs> That's a good point. They had a point there. Uh, but I guess at that point, Dr. J was so excited. And yeah, that, yeah, starstruck, yeah. He just okay. didn't think about yeah, yeah. doing that. But see, Dr. J would do that. I don't care if he knew you or had seen you or been in his presence. He always knew you mm. the next time anywhere. Mm. You see the commercial he's on yesterday. He walks into this room and says, did someone, did someone ask for the doctor? No, for a doctor. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and this Dr. J walks in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that commercial. Okay. I said, oh, Dr. J. I said, when I went to Eastern to work, I, re I ran across a lot of folk who were celebrities at it. But it didn't bother me because I had seen most of them mm. playing with the squires. Right. And I had seen, what's the guy that, uh, North Carolina, played in Norfolk State, and he had some, uh, uh, something wrong with his his arm so he could only use really one one hand well back in the day I don't know that I, guy mm. stood half court and would throw the ball right in the basket mm. he was on the squares no he was with the visiting team oh there was whipping north of state oh, oh this, was, this, was, this was college this was college uh, okay, okay with his yeah, one yeah, hand yeah, yeah. i mean we saw them warming up mm -hmm. but he didn't warm up mm -hmm. only thing he was doing was retrieving the ball back to the players mm -hmm. for practicing for layups and things mm -hmm. of this sort mm -hmm. but when the game started i thought maybe he was going to put on a something a glove or something on his hand mm -hmm. We didn't put anything on there. He just went out there with the rest of the guys warming up some more. I said, whip North of State with that one hand. Okay, the, I, I hate to bring this up, but obviously Norfolk State is your team. Now, what happened? Oh, that's right. Maybe that doesn't, that's it. I'm just trying to say the visitors, they were beating up on your team. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so, Oh, well, I, guess, I cheered for I, everybody. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Did you cheer for? Okay, you cheer for the people that Look, would be. I cheered when, when I saw that guy working with one hand uh -huh. and whipping up North of State almost by himself. I had to give him the recognition that was due to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I even Little Walter was even cheering because mm -hmm. we had some uh, staff members at North of State. Mm -hmm. You would have thought that Little Walter belonged to them. Mm -hmm. We would walk in. And and uh, the one the wife will either say, Walter Junior, we're right here. And Lou Walter said, Bye, mommy. I said, Watch your manners. Mm -hmm. He go mm -hmm. up the stairs, up mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. right to where they are, mm -hmm. and that's where he stayed for the rest of the game. Sure. I was glad to let me bring my child home. But, well, that in that case, I mean, it's like you know, it's interesting because uh, children see their parents all the time. So a little break is good. <laughs> well, except for in school, I guess. And he got to learn the game. Oh, from the, with those people. From that point of view, you know, from being with, around all the fans who mm. were cheering mm. for the same team, you know. Mm -hmm. So I guess I was probably the only one down there. Uh, if somebody did something real great, mm. I try to recognize the four people. Well, you, that makes you an unusual person. And you know Dr. Brooks. Did you ever meet Dr. Brooks? I don't know who that is. Dr. Brooks was the president at Norfolk State mm -hmm. when it was part of Virginia State. He would say, you know, it's nothing better than to come to the gymnasium and see your 
your team out there mm -hmm. warming up, mm -hmm. getting ready for the game. And it's nothing like being the person in charge. We thought he was talking about the coach in charge. He was talking about the president in charge of the school. Oh, okay. Knowing that you don't have to do anything but support and support and support. And I'm trying to get the staff members to realize they are not playing just for the students. They're playing for them, too. Hmm. I said, okay, Dr. Brooks, you go on and enjoy your team. But they had one guy, they called him Smoke. No, he didn't. He called him Stick. Stick something. Mm -hmm. He was as skinny as a stick. But so, so I don't. I guess he got that nickname from from his size. Mm -hmm. But Lil Walters thought that he was the one who owned the team, and I don't care what I say to him. It didn't change his mind because he saw him. I guess he was the big guy out there on that floor, mm -hmm. and I guess he said, "If you're big, you're in charge." Oh, that's like, okay. <laughs> All right. So I said, okay, if you want to be that way, I said, but he's not in charge. A little, when they take, you know how you do substitution? Yeah. And they would take him out? Mm -hmm. Little Walter would not like that. Mm -hmm. I, I, hear, I could hear the folks back there to explain it to Little Walter. He's going to go back in, Walter Jr. He's a little he tired now. You got to give him some rest. I said, uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I see anybody shooting with one hand needed a rest. They should have given him the night off anyway. But no, I guess they couldn't have. Because if they had put the, the night off, pulled off the state would have just whipped them soundly. <laughs> but I think they had a, a psychological fear uh. knowing that this man here with one hand was whipping <laughs> them right now all they wanted to. In this day and age, they say he got into their head. <laughs> he messed but him up. I understand he was a he was an excellent player anyway. Mm -hmm. I can't think of his name right now. Do you know what happened to him? With where, where he went on to? He went on to he went on to pro. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I should look up. I, I guess it's got to be someplace. I I wasn't following, but best by I don't I don't know who it is. I, I don't follow, I'm not like a sports think person. Of his name. Yeah. Well, if, well, you know the game is about to start. You know, uh, yeah. we got uh, both um, the Baltimore. Ravens versus the Indianapolis Colts. So and think? you won't be here next week, next or the week after next. For the whole for the next six weeks, I have well the next month. I leave in a month. Out of New York, I gotta go go back to see my wife. Yeah. I want you to go back to see her. You know, That's the but, only but, reason you're gonna be excused. But that, but I also have uh, some other. You know, I got in New York. I got a lot of stuff to do in New York. You, you know, know why I need you here with me? No, why? My birthday is the 27th of this month. Well, happy early birthday. <laughs> and see? my brother Let me be the first to, to, to want to have a birthday dinner for me for my birthday. Well, good. You should be around family. This is good. And he said. He's coming down. Uh, He's coming down. Or up where, where are they at? Where, where's he? They up in New York or down in Florida? Where? They're in North Carolina right North now. North Carolina. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're not going to have it here. He's going to have it some. Some restaurant or somewhere. Some fancy place. Yeah. But we want to, he, he wants, he said, though, we need the family. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. He said, and the, and the ladies who come there with you, mm -hmm. day and night, mm -hmm. they should be there too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And all your family mm -hmm. should be there. Mm -hmm. Be a good idea if they can be there. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so time for the, all of you to look at each other. Mm -hmm. And you can look at all of them and say, thank you, Lord. I know you pray for them. He said, but you can have a prayer right there. Mm -hmm. Well, aren't you almost like the, aren't you the, I guess officially, aren't you the matriarch of the family? Who's the matriarch of, of the family now? Who's the matriarch of the family? Do you have one? I guess we don't have one. Mm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I don't I, know. I guess we don't have one. Well, you know. Mm. I don't know. It, I've never known anybody to be identified as that in the family. 
Probably too much of you, too many of y'all. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I know in Walt's family, I know there. Mm. That was Mama. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh, listen. Thank you so much for giving me those stories. I, I, uh, that that is extraordinary. You know. So if you saw, if Dr. J saw you today, if he came down to visit you here in Chesapeake, you say, "Hey, Ma, how you doing?" <laughs> I tell him, "Come on." I said, "Come on. We going." We're going to a birthday celebration. But there you go. Okay. Thanks so much. Let's enjoy the game. Well, when you go back home, mm -hmm. 